Kindergarten, my name is Miss Lagana. Hi Kindergarten, I'm Mr. Smith. And you're probably wondering why I'm dressed as a crayon box and why Mr. Smith is dressed as a yellow crayon. Well today we're going to be focusing on main idea and details in a story. Think of the main idea as a box of crayons. The box is the main thing that holds all the crayons and the crayons are the details that when they come together make up the crayon box and without it it's just a box. The main idea is what the story is all about. To help you figure out what the main idea is you can look at the title or look at the pictures in your story. The details tell us more information about the main idea. We're going to use the details from our story to tell how some animals are alike and how some animals are different. Remember, alike means? The same. Very good. And different means? That they're not the same. Very good. Alike means the same or almost the same and different means not the same. Let's take a look at our picture. How is a kitten like a duckling? They're both cute. Yes, they are both very cute. What else? They both have fur. They both have fur. Very good. Is their fur the same color? No, they're different colors. They're different colors. The different color fur is a, a detail that tells us something that's different about our ducklings and our kitten. What's another way that the ducklings and the kitten is different? The ducks have a beak. The ducks have a beak. Very good. And what does the kitten have that makes him different than the ducklings? A nose and a mouth. A nose and a mouth. Very good. Hi friends. So what do you think are some differences? And what do you think are some similarities? So how are they different? And how are they the same, these baby animals in this picture? The ducks and the cat. Okay friends. Call your parents over and see if they can find something that's the same and something that's different. Before we read our story, let's go over our new vocabulary words. These words are going to help us with our details in our story. Our first word is appearance. Everybody say appearance. Appearance. Appearance is the way something looks. We call it its appearance. Let's look at the picture that shows the word appearance. From its appearance, or how it looks, I can tell that this lion is roaring loudly. Can you tell me about the appearance of the lion? Uh, I think the appearance of the lion is that he's angry or mad because he's roaring and showing his teeth. That's a great answer. Very good. Boys and girls, can you tell me something about the appearance of the lion? Can you ask your parents to help you to tell you something about the appearance of that lion in the picture? Our next vocabulary word is behavior. Say behavior with me. Behavior. Behavior, behavior is the way a person or an animal acts. Now let's look at the picture that shows the word behavior. The dog is running and barking. Barking is a dog behavior, or the way a dog acts. Dogs bark for many different reasons. What is the dog's behavior in our picture? Hmm, I think the behavior of that dog is that he's happy that he's at the beach. Why do you think that? Because he's running. Great answer. Boys and girls, can you tell me something about the behavior of the dog in our picture? Can you ask your parents to help you about the behavior of the dog in the picture? Boys and girls, do you have a dog at home? Does your dog run? Do you think your dog is happy when it runs? Talk to your parents about the behavior of your animal that you have at home. So, so far, kindergarten, we have talked about main idea, which is what a story is about, and details, which is what tells more about the main idea. We've also learned about alike and different. We've also learned our new vocabulary words, appearance 
and behavior. Now we're going to read our story. As I read, pay attention to the details and what you think the main idea might be in our story. Also, pay attention to the behaviors and appearances of the different animals that you might see. Our title is Zooborns, Zoo Babies from Around the World. Let's take a look at the cover. What do you think our story might be about? Hmm. Baby tigers? Baby tigers. Very good. Why do you think our story is going to be about a baby tiger? Because there's a baby tiger on the cover of the book. Very good. So see, kindergarten, we use pictures to help us tell us what the main idea is in our story. Our author is Andrew Blyman. The author is the person who does what? Mm, does he draw the pictures? Doesn't draw the pictures. Does he take pictures? He doesn't take the pictures. That's our illustrator. What does the mm. author do? Does he write the words? Very good. Our author is the person who writes the story. Our illustrator is Chris Eastland. What does the illustrator do if the author writes the story? Then he must draw the pictures. He draws the pictures. Looking at our cover, do you think our illustrator drew pictures or did he take real photographs of pictures? Of things? I think he took real pictures of baby animals. He took real pictures. Very good. Just by looking at our cover, we can tell that our illustrator took real photographs. That, that tells us that this is a non-fiction story. Can everybody say non-fiction? Non-fiction. Non-fiction stories tell us real facts about animals or details. And like you said, our story is most likely going to be about animals, just by looking at our cover. Remember, kindergarten, while I'm reading, think about what you think the main idea is in our story. Hello there, I'm Becco, and I'm an Asian elephant. When I grow up, I'll be one of the largest animals in all the land. But these days, I'm happiest rolling around with my big blue ball. They call me Radar Ears, and I'm a phoenix fox. My big ears help me hear yummy insects crawling across the sand. Listen, did you hear that? Why does the phoenix fox hear so well? Because he has those great big ears. Very good. I think those big ears are what helps him to hear so well. That's a detail of our, our fox. My name is Minari, and I'm a Sumatran orangutan. Check out my bright orange mop top. There's no such thing as a bad hair day for me. The orangutan has bright orange color. That is different from our fox. Do you remember what color the fox had? The color the fox's fur was? White. White. Okay, that's a way that the fox and the orangutan are different. Hello, I'm Hoover and I'm a tawny frog mouth. They call me Frogmouth because of my beak. I can open it really wide. Calling all bugs, it's dinner time. Why do you think they call this bird a Frogmouth? I can tell that this is a bird. He doesn't look like a frog. Because he opens his mouth big like a frog. Very good. He opens his mouth very big like a frog. That's a detail about our frog mouth bird. I'm Kai and I'm a spotted hyena. Don't be fooled by my puppy dog good looks. We hyenas are more related to cats than to dogs. Mom says I'm perfect. The spots on the hyena are a detail that tells us that they are a spotted hyena. My name is Amani and I'm an 
aardvark. One day I'll grow into all this extra skin. But for now, I think wrinkles rule, don't you? The wrinkles are the, the skin on the aardvark. Don't you think this is an unusual animal? I think it's very strange. Very strange. I'm Miracle Kitten, and I'm an ocelot. My teeth are starting to come in. Want to see? Uh, so what kind of animal is an ocelot? A cat? A cat. Very good. But we don't want to have this kind of cat as our pet, right? No, because it will eat us. Right there. An ocelot, they might be cute, but they're a wild animal, and wild animals are dangerous. Hi, I'm Hassani. I'm a gorilla, and my name means handsome in Swahili. The zookeepers say my name suits me well. I think so, too. Zookeepers are people that take care of animals in a zoo. So where do you think our story takes place? In the zoo? In the zoo. Very good. These are all animals that we would see in a zoo. Callie and Durga here, we're Bengal tiger twins. We look so much alike, our vocabulary word. Sometimes people can't tell us apart, but we bet you can. Remember, what does alike mean? The same. The same, and as you can see, our Bengal twin tigers look just like the same. They call me Ruby and I'm a kangaroo. What does, what's a gal to do when her fur hasn't grown in yet? Snuggle into this warm and fuzzy blankie. That's what, so why do you think our kangaroo is snuggled in that blanket? Because he doesn't have fur. Right, because the kangaroo doesn't have any fur. And she might be cold. And she might be cold and that warm blankie will keep her warm. I'm Tahina and I'm a crowded safaka. When I was born, my mom couldn't take care of me, so for now, the zookeepers do. They gave me this big teddy bear, so cuddly. My name, my name is Monifa and I'm a pygmy hippo. We pygmies are the smallest hippos around. But even though I'll always be little, I'll still have to eat these leafy greens so that I'll grow up strong. Mmm. So even though hippos are a big animal, this animal is a pygmy hippo, so it's going to be smaller than all the other hippos. So it's different. It's different than all the other hippos. Very good. Good day. I'm Matari, a wombat. I come from Australia, where I love to dig in the dirt. Check out the built-in shovel paws. Um, check it uh, out the built-in shovels on my paws. Whoa, they're big. They're big. And why do you think his paws are so big? Why do you think they call him sh shovel paws? Because he likes to dig? Because he likes to dig in the dirt. Very good. What do you get when you add a zebra's legs to a giraffe's body and then throw in a long blue tongue? Me, my name is Cali Spell, and I'm an acape. So is this animal a zebra? No. No. Is this animal a giraffe? No. No. It's a different animal. They call it an acape. So it has the zebra's stripes but a giraffe's body. This is a different animal. I'm Bella, a beluga whale. As I get older, I'll turn all white, like my mom and dad. But do you know what will never change? My smile. So we know that when it gets older, it will turn white. And that's a detail about our beluga. Now, kindergarten, that we just finished our story, what do you think our main idea of our story is? Remember, main idea is what our story is all about. Mm. 
I think the story is about elephants. Was our story all about elephants? No, but they're my favorite animal. Oh, well, that's a great favorite animal, but remember the main idea is what it's all about. So what do you think our story was all about? Mm, baby animals? Baby animals, very good. In our story, our main idea was baby animals. We read about different animals and details all about these animals. Can you tell me two animals from our story that were alike? Remember, alike means? The same. The same. I think the aardvark and the elephant. Very good, the elephant and the aardvark. How are they alike? The elephant and the aardvark don't have any fur. Very good, our elephant and the aardvark don't have any fur. All they have is skin. Can you tell me how they are different? Hmm. The elephant has a big long trunk. Very good. Elephants have trunks and aardvarks, their nose is, looks like a circle. They don't have trunks. Like a pig. Like a pig, exactly. Their nose looks just like a pig. Very good. What are two other animals from our story that are alike? Hmm. Let me see. I think the fox and the kangaroo. Great job. The fox and the kangaroo. How are these two animals alike? They both have really big ears. Very good. These animals both have really big ears. That's a way that they are alike. How are these two animals different? Remember, different means not the same. The kangaroo doesn't have any fur, but the baby fox does have fur. <gasps> That's a great detail. The kangaroo has no fur, but the fox has white fur. Very good. Okay, friends. Can you think of how these animals are alike and different? Can you ask your parents to help you see how these animals are alike and different? Can you ask your parents to help you figure out which is your favorite two animals. And then ask your parents how they are alike and how they are different. Okay, kindergarten, now let's do an activity to practice main idea and details. You're going to be detectives and you have to figure out which detail doesn't belong with our main idea in our mystery bag. So let's get started. Which color bag should we start with first? Pink. Pink. Okay, my favorite color. Our main idea is going to the beach. I wish I was going to the beach. So this is what it's all about. We have a palm tree, shovel, beach ball, Seashell, snowman, bucket, and sunglasses. These are all different types of details, but there's one that doesn't belong. Which detail do you think doesn't belong with our main idea of going to the beach? I think snowman doesn't belong. The snowman. Why doesn't the snowman belong with our beach topic? Because if you put a snowman on the beach, he'll melt because it's hot at the beach. Very good. So our snowman is our detail that does not belong at the beach. Okay, kindergarten, what mystery bag should we pick next? Um, how about purple? Purple. Okay, let's see what our main idea is. What do you think our main idea is, looking at the picture? Snowman. Snowman, very good. Okay, so our main idea is going to be all about building a snowman. We have 
hot chocolate, scarf, snow, rocks, a carrot. What do you think the carrot's for? His nose. His nose, right. We're not, he's not going to eat the carrot. Coal. That looks like that's going to be for his mouth. And a hat. So kindergarten, now that we're looking at our main idea and our details, what doesn't belong when we build a snowman? Hmm. I don't know, Miss Lagana. I think hot chocolate. Hot chocolate, very good. This detail does not belong. This is something that we might want to have after we build our snowman when we go inside. Very good. So our main idea is building a snowman. And these are all the details to build a snowman. Okay, Kinderon, we have one more bag left. Let's see what the main idea is. What do you think this main idea might be? I don't know, Miss Lagana. It looks like our classroom. It does look like our classroom. So do you think our main idea is going to be something about the classroom? I think so. Okay, let's see what our details are. We have a pencil, glue, crayon, backpack, shopping cart, scissors, and a notebook. So we know we're at classroom and all of these are what? Most of these are what? Mm. What are our details? These are things we use in our classroom? These are things that we use in our classroom. Do we use all of these supplies in our classroom? Or is there something that doesn't belong? We don't use one thing. We don't use one thing. What would that thing be? The shopping cart. Very good, the shopping cart. This detail we don't use in our classroom. Where do you think we might use a shopping cart? Mm. At Walmart? At Walmart, very good. You might use a shopping cart to put all your grocery items in your cart. Okay, kindergarten, so today let's go over what we learned. We learned main idea. The main idea is what the story is all about. And we learned about the details. The details tell us more information about our main idea of our story. We also talked about alike and different. Alike means the same, and different means not the same. We also learned new vocabulary words, appearance and behavior. Okay, boys and girls, don't forget to talk to your parents about main idea and details. Don't forget to help you with main ideas. You can look at the title of your book and you can look at the picture of your book. Now, don't forget to go on Raz Kids and read some books. Don't forget to ask yourself, what's the main idea and what are the details in the story? Ask your parents to help you read some stories on Raz Kids and ask them to help you to tell you what the main idea is and what are the details in your story. Bye, Bye, kindergarten. Guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you soon.